Hello, darlings. Well, first of all, thanks a million for buying this fabulous tape. It's really great, you'll see. Okay, are you sitting comfortably? Right, here comes the spiel. X directory tapes are specially designed to persuade more callers to leave you messages, which is fairly obvious, really. To get the best results, though, we recommend that you follow these simple instructions, which you can also find on the inlay card of the tape box provided. First of all, listen to the tape on any standard cassette player, which I presume you're obviously doing, otherwise you couldn't hear my dulcet tones, could you? <laughs> and pick out one of the outgoing messages you wish to use. Before each outgoing message starts, there will be a three-second countdown. Cue the tape using the pause button and release this button after the end of the three-second countdown. Then record the outgoing message you have chosen into the microphone of your answering machine from the cassette speaker. Okay, Bob, over to you. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Roy. Now, if you wish, you can personalise the outgoing message by inserting your own voice before or after the X directory voice. This will ensure that your friends know that they have really reached you, Roy, and not a wrong number. So, finally, I want you to tell all your friends about these brilliant tapes, and I want you to buy as many as you can, because I really do need the money. Shut up, Bob. A distance of three to four inches between your answering machine microphone and the cassette player speaker generally gives the best results. Well, I've often found that three to four inches gives me the best results. <clears throat> yes. Okay, we also recommend that you use a medium volume setting, and if possible, add a little bit of bass, because it doesn't have help as it's going down the old telephone system. And finally, remember, X directory tapes work on all types of answering machines. So, have a listen now to the X directory tape which you've obviously been doing for the past two minutes. Right, where's me money? Hello. Yes, it's me, your future king here. Look, I'm afraid I'm out and about at the moment, inspecting some monstrous carbuncle. So you can't talk to me, but you can leave a message with my plants, which, like me, uh, are all ears. What is... Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Can you hear me? Over. This is your leader here, caller. Here are your orders. Leave your name, rank and serial number after the sound of the drone to land your message safely. Should be a piece of cake, chaps. Stand by. Tally-ho and answering machines away. Ah, well, you've caught us hard at it, I'm afraid, the chambermaids and I. I mean, scrubbing and polishing to a blue in the face upstairs, and particularly downstairs. Yes, I know the master will be delighted that you have taken this trouble to call, so please do leave your message after the sound of the gong. Now, Mavis, where's my poker? Oh, yes, I will. Down periscope and crash dive, number one. Open all ballast tanks. And take it down to 100 feet. Steer course 194. Yeoman, are you ready to transmit? Yes, sir. Carry on. Well done, number one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You rang? Welcome to my castle. Will I cut you off or even hang you up? <laughs> Who knows? I might even disconnect you. So plead for your life after the scream. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lift off. We have lift off. All systems are go. You're looking good there, Apollo. Hee hee. Go, go, go. And as they come through Beechersburg for the last time, with less than half a mile to go, it's Artistic Prince on the far side, on a train by the Royal Family. On the near side, it's Whiskey Galore, bottoms up, and Cheers, who nearly takes a tumble there. These are the front runners. Then comes Angolero, but it's Lord Lucan, who is beginning to show, being closely pressed by Fleet Street. And as they enter the final furlong, it's now over to you. Now the 
question is, punk, are you going to make my lousy day and, and just say who the hell you are? Am I going to blow you away? That's you! My husband and I are delighted that you have called. But one is out walking the corgis, and one's husband has popped out for a kebab. We will be back in the palace before long, but do please leave your title, name and number after the tone. May God bless you all. Hello. Yes, I knew you'd call hard deed. I thought to myself, any moment now, without any hesitation, the deviation, or repetition, you are going to hold hard thy breath and stretch thy nostrils wide. <laughs> Go on, say something, yes. Oh, come on, stop messing about. <laughs> 